Tonight, APD is telling us it will be at least two more weeks before the Department of Public Safety could return here to Austin. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Britt Moreno. Daniel has the night off. APD says there is no concrete date on when this partnership might start again. In the city's Public Safety Commission meeting this evening, police revealed violent crime has gone back up since DPS troopers left town. KXAN's Tahra Rahman takes a closer look at tonight's findings. Austin police say they're already seeing an impact after DPS troopers left Austin for the border. The DPS patrol did reduce crime. It did reduce violent crime and in particular violent crime related to firearms. You can see the red dots here showing the time after troopers left. They're higher than the green dots here when the partnership was in effect. But commissioners want more context around this data and how it was obtained. I am confused about some of the data because I'm not clear if there was a true firearm defense or if a firearm became illegal because there was a little bit of marijuana in the car. APD says some of the data though is hard to get because it belongs to DPS. It's part of why Commissioner David Holmes wants to explore a different idea. There's no reason to me that we shouldn't at least explore partnering with the sheriff, partnering with local constables before we're partnering with agencies that don't answer to the local electorate. Some commissioners and neighbors also want more transparency. It was done in secrecy. There was no transparency. And I want to be pointed to um, whomever decided their right to do that without anybody else's uh, interaction or interjection. Tahirah Rahman, KXAN News. Austin police also showed data tonight on car crashes. They say those decreased during the DPS partnership in the areas where troopers were deployed, but when they were moved, crashes went back up. Now we reached out to DPS about the data presented tonight. We're still waiting to hear back. This partnership, though, started at the end of March. DPS was ordered to help because of APD staffing challenges. The collaboration has also drawn some criticism from heavily patrolled communities. Some people feeling like they were being unfairly targeted with these traffic stops. A report from the Travis County Attorney's Office following the first two weeks of the partnership showed 65% of people arrested by DPS for misdemeanors in Austin were Latino, 23% were black.